Hey you guys! Do you love watching those nozzle close-up videos with the printer running? In today's video, we will show you how you can easily install a camera to capture those nozzle images on Nick Reality Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. You want to know more? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, nozzle close-up shots are always cool to watch. These images are amazing and are great to include in video presentations and in some cases they can help to troubleshoot issues or even to calibrate the machine. There are lots of great cameras for the job and for this tutorial we bought this endoscope camera at a local store. This particular model can connect to a PC, tablet or mobile phone and there are several cable lengths available. If you plan on connecting the camera to a PC you might want to buy one with a long cable so it can easily reach the computer. But if you want to connect to a Raspberry Pi, for example, then a short cable length will be better. This camera is 8mm in diameter and 45mm in length, and it's equipped with 8 small LEDs around the camera lenses. At the other end, it has a USB connector with multiple formats and a Type-C adapter. This same connector can be used with a computer, tablet or smartphone. Next to the USB connector, it has this small controller that allows to adjust the LED light intensity. On the market, you can find different cameras with different resolutions. To secure the camera on the print head, we designed this support mount. The plan was that it was easy to install and that we could adjust the camera's position. We will include the links for the STL files in this video description, so don't forget to check them out. And this is one of them. This is the smaller version of our camera mount. We also designed a second one that it's a bit taller and it has these two openings to secure the camera's cable. The installation is super easy. Basically, we need to remove the screws that secure the print head cover, attach the support mount and screw back the screws. Ok, so let's go to it. Remove the two screws that secure the print head cover. For the assembly, we will need a couple of M3x8 screws because the stock ones are too short. But we can use one of the stock screws on the support mount to secure the camera. Then we take the support mount and place it over the print head cover. And then we use the new screws to secure both the mount and the cover. And that's it! The support mount is installed. Now for the camera. Just insert the camera and adjust the position. You will need to have it connected and check the image to find the correct position and also the camera angle. Then carefully tighten the screw to secure the camera. Move the Z down and make sure the camera is higher than the nozzle. And finally, move the X carriage left and right to confirm that everything moves freely and that the camera cable does not get caught in the process. If you use the second design, you can secure the cable on the mount. It will be easier to arrange the cable this way. Thank you. 
and the installation is now complete. You can now start your print and start recording. The camera has its own illumination LEDs and you can adjust its brightness. But if the image gets too bright or the illumination is not enough, you can add external illumination to fix that. And if you have a Raspberry Pi running Octoprint, you can connect the camera directly to the Raspberry Pi and get the image from there and record time lapses with it. And that's it you guys, we told you, it was an easy installation. Hope you liked the video and don't forget to give it a like. Feel free to leave your comments below in the video description. We will see you guys next time, bye!